Hello everyone, good to you all. My name is the Goddess Susanidazi. Today I want to bring the word of God to you. The word of repentance, the word of peace, the word of hope. Wherever you are, I want you to kindly join me. And before then, I want us to share these prayers together in peace and in harmony. And we ask God for forgiveness of sin. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you, Lord, and glorify your holy name. I thank you, King of Kings. I thank you, Lord of Lords. I thank you, Jesus of Days, for your goodness and mercy. I thank you for all you have done. I thank you for the creation. I thank you for the day, for the night. My Lord and my God in heaven, in any way we have sinned against you, please have mercy upon us. My Father, my God in heaven, as I'm about to share your word now, I have no power of my own. I have no word of my own. I invite the Holy Spirit to dwell in me now to relate your word to me so that I can relate your word to your people. May you incline a clean ear and a clean mind unto your people this hour in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Son. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Yes, I welcome you once again, my brothers and my sisters. So today, I will be taking my Bible verse. Today, I title my topic, A Message for the Nation. Repent and be a responsible person in the land that the Lord has given to you. So I will be taking my Bible verse from the book of Isaiah 34, 1 to 17. So please open to the book of Isaiah 34, 1 to 17. Thank you, Lord. So, it reads, it said, Come here and listen, O nation of the earth. Let the world and everything in it hear my word. The Lord said, Come here and listen, O nation of the earth. I mean, each and every one should come near and listen to what the Lord has for the people. He said, let the world and everything in it hear my word. You know, let the world and everything in it hear my words. Mean every inhabitant, both birds, snakes, was everything that the Lord has created that is of good and for human consumption. The Lord said those things should open their ear, including the human. They should open their ear because he has something important to say to us. Now, he said, for the Lord is arranged against the nation. His fooling is against all the army. He will completely dis destroy them, dooming them to slaughter. Their death will be left unburied, and the strength of rotting bodies will fill the land. May the Lord help us in Jesus' name. My brethren, the Lord is sending a message across. I don't know what you are doing right now. But the Lord said, I should tell you to repent from your sin. He said, the end is near. He said, in his throne, he's very angry. He's angry with the nation. He's angry with the people. He does not like what they are doing. For his own people have forsaken. Now they go out there doing all manner of things. And at the end of the day, they decide and conclude that there is nothing, you know, God is not going to hold them ransom. I'm here to tell you that you should repent. Repent and be a responsible person in the land that the Lord has given to you. Failing to do so, the Lord said you will die. If you fail to repent now, he said you will die. Not just you will just die just like that, but sickness and all manner of diseases. Cause upon you and your entire generation. He said, doom is unto those that rebel against me. He said, those that rejected me now, I will reject them in their own time. For I called them now to listen to my word. But they said, no. What is in their mind is what they are going to use to do anything that they, they feel like doing. As long as they are happy in doing it, they don't care. But the Lord said, this message is for you. You should repent in every evil thing that you are doing right now. Repent from it. Because at the end of the day, 
Destruction is upon your hustle. May the Lord help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, he said, The mountain will flow with their blood. Now, verse 4 says, The heavens above will make a way, and they disappear like a rolling up roy, like wind that leaves from a great vein, or shovel things from a fig tree. You see, the Lord said, The time is wrought will descend upon the nation. After sending this warning, and he will see if the nation will repent. But if they fail to repent, he said he's going to release his anger. That even the trees, they will wind that away. The human, they will start dying. The animal will start dying. Everything that is in the land, all will start dying. And all these things will remain unburied. Now, the question is, are we going to wait for the wrath of God upon us? No. Because the wrath of God comes with fire. And no one of us will be able to accommodate it. My brethren, I plead with you in the name of God Almighty. As you are hearing the tone of my voice right now, you are hearing the tone of the Holy Spirit. I want you to repair from your sin. I have never seen anything in this life that you are so much addicted to it. And you will tell yourself you cannot repent from it until death do you pass. No. No. There are many things you can do. There are many things you can talk of. There are many things out there that makes you a responsible person. But all you need to do is to follow the way of God. Follow the instruction of God and follow the direction of God. And then God will lead you through. May the Lord help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, as I read on, it says, verse 5, And when my sword has finished its work in the heavens, it will fall upon Edom. A nation I have marked for destruction, the sword of the Lord is drenched with blood and covered with fat, with the blood of lambs and goats, with the fat of rams prepared for sacrifice. Yes, the Lord will offer a sacrifice in the city of Buzra. He will make a mighty slaughter in Edom. Even men as strong as white horse we die. May the Lord help us in Jesus' name. Wow. The young men alongside the Vantara, the land will be soaked with blood and the soil enriched with fat. For it is the day of the Lord's revenge. May the Lord help us in Jesus' name. For me, I wouldn't wait for the Lord to revenge. If there is anything I'm doing as a person, I have to repent. Because these verses... Isaiah 34 is full with fear, is full with warning and instruction. And I can see the anger of God speaking from the mind, for the mind that is so angry, you know. The mind of God is so angry. God is so angry with the nation now. I pray that his anger will never meet us. If only we heed to his destruction now and repent. If only we do away with sin. If only we obey the Ten Commandments. We say, love your neighbor as yourself. The Lord said we should stop using our mouth to destroy one another. Because each and every one will be created in the image and likeness of God. So who are you to destroy your neighbor? Who are you to condemn that man out there? Who are you to say all manner of things against one another? Who are you to cause an image of God? My brothers and my sister, if you are in this shield condemning people about, and you feel that nothing is happening, you know, no one will hold you responsible. The Lord said, I should tell you that your time is up. He said that you repent or you will die. That is the word of God for you now. Repent from your sin and change to a new man. Stop scandalizing people. Stop destroying people's image. Stop blaspheming people's image. You have the right. The life of people are not in your hands. 
Everyone in this life has their own cross to carry. And at the end of the day, we all have our own world to give to God. The Lord said he's angry with the nation. And the people that live in the nation, the people that God called the nation is me and you that lives in the land that the Lord has given to us. May the Lord help us in Jesus' name. I pray as each and every one is hearing the tone of my voice this hour, we will not only hear this word, but I pray that this word will register in our hearts and we will repent from our sin. We will repent from our sin. Now, and the Lord said, Thou shalt not judge. Who are you to judge your friend? Who are you to judge your father? Who are you to judge your mother? Who are you to judge your daughter or your son? Who are you to judge your neighbor? Who are you? Because the Lord said, anything that you said out from your mouth against one another, that same word will be used against you. He said, any measurement that you use to measure your neighbor, that same measurement will be used against you. So, my brothers and my sister, we are already in the end time. We need to be careful with the way we use our tongue. Because the Lord said in his word that life and death is in the tongue. So, how you use it depends if you will live long on the, on the land or not. Because he said he will never hold no man, no man responsible. Anything you do, he will hold you guilty of it. And there is no excuse. I pray may the Lord help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, he said, For it is the day of the Lord's revenge, the year when doom will be paid back for all he did to Israel. You see, we are already in the end time now. The Lord is sending this warning across. Those who have ear, let them hear. Those who said, no, I want to continue with my evil things. I want to continue with my evil ways, you know. I don't care what people say. I don't care what the preachers say. I don't care who this woman, the goddess of Samu Dazi, who she's, who, what she's saying or what she's talking about. I don't care how she looks. I don't care who sent her to preach this word. All I know, as long as I'm happy with the little thing I'm doing by destroying people's image, by doing all manner of things out there, by creating nuisance, you know, I don't care. My brothers and my sister, the Lord said you care. He said you care. If you do not repent now, you will care later. Because he will personally destroy you. Especially after you have heard the warning and you do not want to repent and be a changed man and a changed woman out there. You still want to continue. You know this message. You still want to continue. He said at the end of the day, he will release his rod against you. May the Lord help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, verse 9 said, The stream of Edom will be filled with bony pitch. And the ground will be covered with fire. This judgment on Edom will never end. The smoke of its bony will rise forever. The land will be deserted from generation to generation. No one will live there anymore. Yeah, the Lord said where this judgment will take place, he said he's going to filter the wicked. The wicked people, he will take them to a, a, a particular place. So it is that place that he will render his judgment upon. May the Lord help us in Jesus' name. And he said his judgment will be forever. And these people will be consumed by fire. And the fire will continue to burn them forever. And that particular place will never be used anymore because judgment has already been taking place there. Now, I said, no one will live there anymore. It will be haunted by the desert hole and destroys how? The great how and the raven. For God will measure that land carefully. He will measure it for shores and destruction. Now, there is a particular place that the Lord wants to use as a place of judgment. Where with his infinite mercy, with his anger, he will take the wicked dead. And there he will build the house of judgment. And that's it. 
Meaning the Lord is about to select the sheep from the goats. The evil people from the good people. And the evil people will be in a place far away from the good ones. And there he will render his judgment there. And his judgment and his anger is coming with fire, everlasting fire. May the Lord help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, he said, it will be called the land of nothing. And all its nobles will soon be gone. Horns will overrule its palace. Nitos and whistle will grow in, the, in its forts. The rain will become a haunt for yakas and a home for hers. Desert animal will mingle there with henans. There are hoes filling the night. White goats will blast at one another among the rains, and night creatures will come there to rest. There the herd will make her net and lay her eggs. She will ash her young and cover them with her wings, and the bosom will come, each one with its male. Now, the Lord said this particular place, when the Lord used the word horse here, these are bears that eat human flesh, dead human flesh. So, the Lord said this particular place that the wicked will live, wherever he's going to use that place, he's going to use that land to destroy the wicked. He said he will release those holes, you know. He said those holes will be, you know, they will be laying eggs. They will be laying eggs and be filled in with these dead bodies. You see? This is really tough. This is really tough. May the Lord help us. Now, verse 16 says, Search the book of the Lord and see what he will do. Not one of these birds and animals will be missing, and none will lack a male. For the Lord has promised this, his spirit will make it all come true. He has survived and divided the land, and decided and dealt it over to those creatures. They will possess it forever, from generation to generation. May the Lord help us in Jesus' name. My brothers and my sister, in a nutshell, 